What's going on YouTube? It's the Bushy Beard and I'm back and I'm bushier than ever and right now we got 21 Pilots Neon Gravestones. Um, also don't forget we got the Death Wish coffee giveaway that's going to be going on in six and a half days ish. Um, all you have to do is go to last week there was a contest video that I posted it says contest video if you go to that one and you comment on it you're entered to win also I am doing my fundraiser for the Innocence Project of Florida the uh, my shirt's ripped I'm sorry y'all <laughs> the link is down in the description below if you go to it what I'm doing is for every hundred dollars we raise one square of the VAT 19 spiciest, hottest chocolate bar in the world. There's 12 in a bar, so if we get 1,200, I'll eat the whole bar. It's 9 million Scoville units. Uh, so yeah, we've gotten $50. Thank you, Kate, and thank you, Hillary, for donating so far. I appreciate it, and so does the Innocence Project. So we are going on to... The, uh, another song by 21 Pilots continuing the journey I really like these guys they're so creative uh, I love the lyrics and I'm, I'm just ready to sorry hear more I know it's a two man band um, who plays the piano? Is it Tyler that plays the piano as well as sings? Um, or does uh, the other one, I can't, I'm blanking on his name right now. Does he, I think Ned maybe? Or maybe Ned was the alien. I'm not 100% sure. Um, does he play the, the um, drums and the piano? Let me know in the comments. Follow me down to the bottom Underneath the insane asylum Keep your wits about you Why you got them Cause your wits are first to go All your problem solving in my problem We glorify mm, Wait, go back I like his flow I like his flow I'm having a heart You know what? I gotta do it I gotta do it I don't wanna miss anything So let's go ahead and We'll keep that up Neon Grave Of stone Genius. I just don't want to miss any of the lyrics because I know I will. All right, here we go. You to follow me down to the bottom underneath the insane aside. What's my okay, here we go. Oh, I don't. What's my problem? What I want. Okay, we're gonna get this down. I promise. Uh, let me go back a little bit. What happens when you mix things up in the middle of it? Make sure I'm still recording. I am. Okay. And how long have I been recording? Make sure to start over. Alright, I don't think I did. And we are back into it. Let us go. What's my problem? Well, I want you to follow me down to the bottom. Underneath the insane asylum. Keep your wits about you why you got them. Cause your wits are first to go while you're problem solving in my problem. Glorify those even more when they my We glorify those even more when they I'm assuming die Tends to only give respect to fully appreciate and respect after they died. Okay, or committed suicide All right, that's interesting. That's interesting Semi true interesting those even more when they my opinion, our culture can treat a loss like it's a win And right before we turn on them, we give them the highest of praise And hang the banner from a ceiling Communicating further, engraving an earlier grave is an optional way No Oh my goodness In my opinion, our culture can treat a loss like it's a win And right before we turn on them, we give them the highest of praise And hang them from a- hang their banner from the ceiling this is this is this is good. Neon gravestones try to call. Neon gravestones try to call. 
And I just now got, I'm sorry, I keep pausing. Uh, I just got the imagery. I'm going to go back a little bit more. Of the neon gravestone. So, like, uh, the gravestones have the names on them. And so, like, in your names and lights. And so, the neon gravestone has the name and lights. Very, very, very good. I love that. Dating further engraving an earlier grave is an optional way. No. I also like that one. Also, the an earlier grave is an optional way. No, I love that. Um, you know, to me, suicide's never been an option, and I've never had to deal with any kind of thoughts about it because of that. Um, I know not everybody is the same way, uh, and so if you're not, please seek help. Reach out to somebody. But I love that line: communicating further engraving. An earlier grave is an optional way. No. I love that line. I love that line so much. What's my problem? Don't get it twisted. It's with the people we praise who may have assisted. I could use the streams and extra conversations. I could give up and boost up my reputation. I could go out with a bang. They would know my name. They would host and post a celebration. Oh my, my opinion will not be lenient. My opinion, it's real convenient. Our words are loud, but now I'm talking action. We don't get enough love, well, they get a fraction. They say, how could he go if he's got everything? I'll mourn for a kid, but won't cry for a king. Woo! He says, don't get it twisted. It's with the people we praise who may have assisted. I could use the streams and extra convert conversations. I could give up and boost up my reputation. So he's saying, look, I could... All this could happen if I die. Everything, all my my music will be at the top of the charts. My reputation will be at a all time high because that's the way it's perceived. It's when somebody dies, and everybody else in society treats it like he said in the beginning, treats it as a win. So you lose somebody, all of their art is pushed to the top. I could go out with a bang, and they would know my name. They would host and post a celebration and so then glorifying this then gives the idea to somebody else who then gives the idea to, it, I love this song this song is probably one of my favorite songs of all time right now um, it's kind of like I've watched the show and I like it 13 Reasons Why is a very edgy kind of thing and it, it people were wondering whether or not it would glorify suicide by showing somebody maybe they have the power to make people feel a certain way when they died. Um, I don't know if it necessarily did that, but I could see the, the thinking of this. This is awesome. I'll mourn for a kid but won't cry for a king. That is, how could he go if he's got everything? I'll mourn for a kid but I won't cry for a king. That's a very good line too. Promise me this If I lose to myself and You won't mourn a day And you move on to someone else Promise me this If I lose to myself You won't mourn a day that is so deep he's saying look promise me this now if I die and it's because I killed myself don't listen to my stuff anymore move on to somebody else Also, the music matches the song perfectly. Don't 
get me wrong, the rise in awareness is beating a stigma that no longer scares us. But for sake of discussion and spirit of fairness, could we give this some room for a new point of view? And could it be true that some could be tempted to use this mistake as a form of aggression, a form of succession, a form of a weapon, thinking I'll teach them while well, I'm refusing the lesson? It won't resonate in our minds. I'm not disrespecting what was left behind Just pleading that it does not get glorified Maybe we swap out what it is that we hold so high Find your grandparents or someone of age Pay some respects for the path that they paved To life they were dedicated Now that should be celebrated perfectly said I loved that song so much I wasn't going into it expecting this um, I think this is a masterpiece um, plain and simple a masterpiece well crafted well said everything he said was was facts in my opinion obviously but to me, this was a masterpiece. Uh, this is one of the songs, the greatest songs they've ever created. Yeah, I agree, Scott. I agree. That was one of the comments here. Um, he said, look to your grandparents who paved the way. Their life should be the ones that, being, should, be being, that should be being celebrated because they loved life. I understand that people go through very deep, t dark times. Trust me, I've been there. I've been through dark, dark times uh, in my life. Um, therapy helped get me out of it. Still to this day helps me. Um, you gotta think you will come out of it the other side and you will be stronger. You will be a different person. I'm not the same person I was before the military. Uh, I don't know if I can ever go back to that person. Uh, but does that mean I'm not <laughs> someone that's going to contribute to society? No, it is not that. I'm going to contribute to society. My voice still matters as much as it did before I joined the military. My platform is as strong who I am, I'm still very secure in who I am as a person, but it took a lot of work to get there. The journey was not short. The journey has been 11 or nine years and counting. Nine years and counting. I've had highs, I've had lows that shadow make the, the highs look like nothing. But you know what? I am a stronger person because of it. I've come out the other side. And I owe it a lot to my friends, my family, uh, my therapist. I've seen a lot throughout the years in the military training. You move around a lot. So I've had a lot of different therapists. Um, and I thank each and every one of them. I remember the therapist. Her name was Mrs. Bell. Uh, I credit her with saving my life. Um because I was in a, a pretty bad spot. Uh, again, suicide was never an option for me, but I was going, I was angry all the time and I wasn't a pleasant person to be around. Um, and she let me start realizing that I could be somewhat of a normal person. I say normal, because that was always my goal was to be a normal person. Um, what's normal, right? <laughs> Everybody has a different normal, but I just wanted to be able to feel emotions again, to understand other people again. And uh, you know, slowly but surely, I've gotten to a point where I do have emotions, not as many as I used to, um, not as often as I did, but I still have them. Uh, and this song was a masterpiece. So thank you 21 Pilots for it. Uh, if you ever need somebody to reach out to and you don't know who, I have an email address. 
I'm not going to promise that uh, I will be perfect in whatever I say, but I will promise you I will listen, you know. Um, but I would suggest finding somebody in your life that you can go to and talk real with them, you know. Depression is not a easy thing to get over and it's not pretty. You got to be real, you got to be blunt, and you got to find somebody who can take it. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to say anything about liking, commenting, sharing, whatever. It doesn't matter. This video is perfect the way it is. Uh, until next time, YouTube, smile like you mean it from Double Sheepy.